Greetings and welcome. My name is Benevolent Bodhi. This is Welcome to Tamriel. In this video, we travel to the Altmer lands of the Somerset Isles to learn about the Somerset Delve daily quests. Before you start, the following are recommended. Good health and resource food. Stamina will allow you to sprint further. There will be combat, so a healing ability or healing pots is a good idea. While I have done these quests with little more than light attacks and one ability, having a decent spammable attack will help. Shorten the battle significantly. Typically during these quests, you will need to survive encounters of two to three standard mobs or a standard delve boss. In case things do go south, you're gonna need a soul gem to revive in place instead of having to travel all the way back from the entrance of the delve. A group of three or more is recommended, not because of the difficulty, but you can split up the task and complete the quests faster. Having a group member with the Alinor Inn apartment will speed up the turn-in times. Just port to the inn, go outside, and then everyone travels to them. There's a lot of escape and evasion, so anything you can do to make you go faster, remove snares, or have invisibility will help. A map of the routes are useful, so I have provided them on my website. The strategy is simple. We're going to escape and evade. And if we have a fan club, we're going to clean them up and then we'll clear any target areas as needed. Once we're done, we'll fast travel to the inn. This delve has two entrances. Personally, I prefer the western one because there is a quest node just inside that entrance. If you're in a group, please note that group members will fast travel once you're in the delve to the eastern entrance. So I recommend if you're doing this in a group that you meet at the Evanstead Mount Way Shrine before going in. Once you have retrieved the first article of faith from the entrance, follow the path upwards towards a cart and you'll find the next remains behind it on the cliff. Then you just jump down. Next you're going to run as fast as you can through the caves to the north and to the west. Just ignore all of the mobs you encounter along the way. Approximately halfway up this sloping path, you'll come to the Sky Shard if you need it. You'll have to clear it, there's a few mobs on it, and then once you're at the top, there's often a mob right here that will prevent you from using this door, so just quickly kill it. The next remains are just to the left of the exit to the cave. Avoid the broken bridge you see in the background, it's a death trap. The remaining two articles of faith are by this griffin. Usually I just collect them and go. The uh, griffin will eventually uh, leash back to its spawn point, but since uh, there's an ESO fam here needing some help and there's an event going on when I made this video, I wanted the box goodness. If you're wondering why I'm spamming the same ability over and over again, my story is my mouse is broken and I'm sticking to it. Let's recap the delve quest. You're going to enter from the west side of the delve. You're going to collect the first relic near the entrance. You're going to run uphill to the cart and collect the relic behind it. You're going to jump down and enter the cave. Escape and evade north and to the west. You're going to escape and evade to the north and the west and then collect the remaining items outside. 
This quest takes place in one of the easiest delves of the series. You kind of follow a counterclockwise approach around the circular delve, and then you collect the items along the way. The first items you need to deal with are the ones in the camp, sort of halfway during your journey. There's a series of tents and bonfires. You just visit each node and light them on fire. If you're doing this with a group, each group member can head to different nodes to speed up the process. Everyone in the group will get credit. Once you've torched the tomes, you head to the southwest and clear out the Daedra cocoons. They're fairly close together, so this won't take too long. There is a uh, named in this room that you can deal with as well, but usually I avoid it. Here's the Delve Recap. Burn, Smash, Exit. In this Delve, the quest nodes are not shared amongst players. So during busy events, then this can be frustrating for most people. However, if you form a group, you can each split off and collect different roses and everyone else will get credit. During busy events, I recommend collecting these few roses outside the circle and also it's handy for people who haven't done this delve before because it's also the path to the Sky Shard. If your feet aren't as sure-footed as a mountain goat, that's me. You're going to have a little bit of fun climbing up the waterfall in the hill to get to the uh, top of the waterfall and then up to the cliff on your left. There's usually an Indrik guarding this one, so you may have to kill it. In this delve, you'll often find several flowers around these werewolf shrines. I usually keep to the outside and try to avoid them. As mentioned, people outside your group will not share the same note, so that means once you or the other person collects it, it will disappear. Now, don't be that guy that uh, steals the notes while the other person is busy clearing it from the mobs. If the delve is super busy, you can take this little path downwards to grab a few more. It's kind of off the beaten path and you have a good chance of finding notes intact. Here's the delve recap. The path shown here will help you collect a few roses and the sky shark. During busy events, I recommend staying off the beaten path. If you have a love competition in the delve, I've listed several other rose locations for you. The challenge to this delve is mostly don't get lost. This delve also the nodes are not shared meaning if you loot an item and somebody outside your group it will disappear for them and vice versa. There is combat in this delve so you'll need to be able to survive fighting multiple hackers at the same time. The humanoids you'll need to kill because they carry loot that you need for the quest. Once you have passed the secret garden at the entrance, I usually head to the east and then the west. There are relics on the tables in the corner. And 
and if there aren't any that have spawned, then I'll clear one side and then pop over to the other. Once you have collected both, you're going to want to go down the west side. In case you've skipped ahead in the video, I'm going to say it again. These quest nodes are not shared, so people outside your group cannot uh, loot them once you've taken them, and vice versa. So don't be that guy that takes the relics when the other people are clearing them up. So. Next, you're going to enter the next big garden room and just stick to the sides. I tend to, like I said, avoid the mobs wherever possible. You'll find a relic on the east side of this little entranceway and it's guarded by three mobs so you'll have to deal with them. Being in a group will speed up the completion of this town. Don't forget to loot the humanoids in case you haven't collected all of the items you need from them. Here's the Delve recap. You can generally avoid most mobs in the Delve as the relics are often guarded by groups of three or more. If the Delve isn't crowded, you're usually finished before having to go upstairs. And if you haven't managed to collect all three relics on the lower level, I've provided a map of the locations upstairs as well. This map also shows the path to the boss in case you are doing the Delve quest as well. No need to copy the maps, they are provided on my website. This daily quest is more or less a smash and go type of adventure. Escape and evade all the creatures inside the cave. Follow the longer path to the Wamasu, so that's to the right. I like to hide in the vegetation. Uh, usually there's a lot of mobs here, but since there's an event going on, there's a lot of people clearing the way. Typically I avoid the Wamasu and just smash the eggs behind them, but there is an event going on when I made this video, so I wanted the loot box goodness. Alright, there are three of these viper nests behind the Wamasu. One, two, and three. Next, you're going to drop down off the cliff behind it. You want to keep close to the edge. There is a mob right down below. And by inching over a little bit, you can avoid it. Head toward the uh, tents and mushrooms. There will be uh, a nest sort of on the water side have to kind of sneak past three of these mobs here. Finally you're going to kind of follow the water to the uh, to the east and then the remaining nests will be nearby. Again if you're in a group you can divide and conquer and send various group members to various nests and you can significantly speed up the process. Here's the Delve recap. You're going to escape and evade through the caverns till you get to the opening. You're going to take the longer path to the right, avoiding other enemies. Once you find the Wamasu, you're going to go around behind it, collect the three nests, drop down and collect the three by the water. Struck from memory can be a bit frustrating for most players because it's so easy to get lost. If you are doing this daily quest as a group, there are some important considerations to know. Once you share the quest, you will need to go to the inn to talk to an NPC. Once you listen to his banter about beer, you can travel to the Delph. 
So if you've shared the quest with a group, please remind people because you're so used to just traveling to the Delve after sharing the quest. They'll get there and realize they're going to have to go all the way back to town to talk to the NPC. There is a fair amount of combat in this delve, so be prepared to be able to repel multiple attackers. I find the easiest way to do this delve is just to memorize the path that takes you through it quickly and efficiently without getting lost. If you're new to this delve, I have provided a map of the path that I used in this video. I call this next part the stairs. You're going to go west, then north, then west, then north, then west, then north. You get the picture. Once at the top, you jump down. Note there are some mobs below, so you might want to choose your landing spot carefully. Once you drop down, you'll find the last remaining chest. It's usually guarded by a flesh golem, so you'll have to take care of it. Just be careful not to run too far back or you're going to run into more mobs and aggro them and have a whole party going on. <laughs> I'm a crafter and a scribe, so please excuse if my battles take a little longer than <laughs> yours would be. Here's the Delph recap. Basically, follow the path as indicated on the map. You're going to jump down where necessary and clear the target areas of the mobs guarding the chest as needed. The chest locations are identified with check marks, and you can find this map on my website. And there you go, all six Somerset Daily Quest Delves. I hope you found the information useful. Take care. Thanks for watching. Didn't take notes? You can catch him at my website at benevolentbody.ca. Like the video? Please smash the like button and enter your comments below. Till next time, see you in Tamriel.